Here are three things to remember after a breakup. For relationship and mental health coaching, click the link in my bio. One, create your own closure. At the end of the breakup, we always want answers to why this person doesn't want us. And no matter what they tell us, we always think that can't be right. That can't be the reason why you don't want me anymore. But what you have to do is take what they said, trust what they say and walk away. Two, understanding the grieving process. After a breakup, you need time to heal. You need time to be by yourself. So you need to feel what you feel in order for you to heal properly. You shouldn't try to distract yourself with other people or substances or things that are not going to benefit you or help you get to another level. Three, maintain your self-worth. There's nothing worse than you begging someone to be a part of their life. They will not respect you if you're on your knees, begging and crying for them to be in your life. Once you get to a good stage and not needing anyone's validation, here is an example of how you would be if someone doesn't want you anymore. Harry. Yes? I've been doing a lot of thinking. Uh-huh. Well, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> what? No, it's fine. No problem. I'll meet somebody else. Yeah. Sure, see, things always even out for me. Huh? It's fine. Anyway, it's been really nice dating you for a while, and uh, good luck. Yeah, you too. To get to a point like this, it will definitely take a lot of time and effort, but it will definitely be worth it. For relationship and mental health coaching, click the link in my bio. I have plenty of ebooks, programs, and one to one coaching available.